welcome back I'm Lauren and I'm here at the Chalk Valley History Festival and in this video I'm taking you guys back to the ancient world of the Romans so fasten your sandals and prepare to be transported back in time with me but first let's find out just how far back in time we're talking with the help of my trusty time traveling pocket watch we're going back to the time when Britain was part of the Roman Empire to meet a Roman cutler. That's a whole 2,000 years ago. Okay, a fun fact about the Romans for you as we head on over. They had two very popular delicacies. First one, baked and stuffed dormouse. Mm. Second one, fish cut sauce. Yeah. Give me ketchup any day. Thank you for letting me behind the scenes. You're a Roman cutler, what does that mean? Uh, so a cutler is someone who makes, well, cutlery. Um, now most people know that as things like knives, forks and spoons, uh, but there are also other items of cutlery such as razors, scissors, shears, uh, swords and daggers, and also surgical implements as well. And they had a wide variety of them for sure. Can you show me one of them? What's this Absolutely. Here? So, just like us, Romans did have spoons. However, they didn't use them quite in the same way as we did. We know that typically the Romans would eat with their hands. While they're eating, for the vast majority of them, they are reclining at the same time. So it's quite difficult to try and eat with your soup and spoon while you're lying backwards. If they were used for eating, were used for things like shellfish, uh, and then they had a spike on the back, which was used potentially for getting snails out of their shells. Basically what's called a winkle picker, eating mollusks and things like that. And then the round ones as well, could be for adding sauces. Um, there is a theory, these may have been used for eye surgery. No. Going in, holding the eyeball back while the surgeon operates behind. No, just eye surgery, not food as well. Or we both. don't know for certain. We don't know. Oh no. Could be sauces, could be shellfish, no. could be surgery. Just don't mix up which one you're doing on the day. You said about them reclining, and I've seen those pictures where they're lying down and eating. Was that just the upper classes? Um, there's a lot of writing uh, saying how reclining is best for your digestion and how sitting up at a table is old-fashioned. Um, it's quite hard to tell whether they were all doing that. Yes. What's your most asked question this week? What have people asked you the most? Um, well, most people, I think, have usually looked into my display and there's a few items they've been quite surprised of. One is that the Romans had uh, folding knives. Uh, the earliest one we have is 600 BC, so the Romans didn't invent them, but they did do what they normally do, which is take a good idea and make it better. They realised they're missing their spoon, their tweezers, their nail file, and so they actually had the first Swiss Army knives. They, they basically made multi-tools for themselves. Um, but I think the one that most people are surprised of is forks. Uh, a lot of people think that forks didn't exist at this time. Now they are rare, it's more something from the Middle East, um, but the Romans did adopt them into their culture and were using them for eating sweet, sticky foods. And so you've been living as a Roman all week, right? Have you? Uh, well, I've been, I've been flitting back and forth yeah. between the Iron Age. I've been staying in an Iron Age roundhouse this week, uh, but I've been in my Roman workshop here. Have you been doing demonstrations of it here? Yes, so uh, during in the week I made a knife from Vindolanda, Roman fort up on Hadrian's Wall. We've got another blade, again this was forged at the start of the week. Um, the two cochlear spoons over here uh, are the last two days which people have seen me making in real time. These are beautiful, these are really lovely. How long does it take to make each one? I reckon without interruption on my own I could be doing them in this setup one every couple of hours. Wow. If not okay. faster, I think what I really would do is I would production line them. Yeah. Which is what, again, Romans would be doing. They were really good at making things, really good at making nice things, but I think what the Romans truly excelled at was actually mass production. Really good at making lots of things quickly. And, and what is it about the Romans and the Iron Age over, this is what you specialise in, isn't it, over any of the other time periods that draws you to this time period? Well, for me, especially with the Romans in this case, it's because they are arguably the first cutlers in Britain. And then knowing everything you know, living it all week. 
Sometimes it's very tempting, but I think I would miss health service and running a uh, decent toilet facility sometimes. I'm looking forward to a good meal. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. That's it as well. Thank you so much for showing me and letting me be back here as well. I hope you enjoy um, getting home to a good meal tonight. Have a absolutely. good night's sleep. <laughs> Thank All you right, so much. No Bye. See you. Bye. And there you have it, a great glimpse into the world of the Romans. I'm off now to the next encampment, so I'll see you over in the next video. See you there.